turning now to our big story of the day. Of course, yeah. it is next weather alert day. We're tracking Ophelia. Yeah. You mentioned that it was moving faster now. It was picking it up some steam. It's moving north at 13 miles an hour. It doesn't mean it's going to get here a whole lot faster. I, I don't think it really approaches our area until sometime tomorrow. It doesn't really fully cross our area, I think, until early, early Monday, like late Sunday night Monday. Long duration. Yeah, yeah it, it is. At some point, it's just going to kind of fizzle out, become the remnants, and just wash itself out over us and nearby and everything else. Uh, you know what? Ophelia has made landfall, so we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about some of these peak wind gusts that we have been getting word of, and uh, they're pretty impressive. We, uh, we definitely have seen uh, above 65 mile an hour wind gusts, so that is a strong tropical storm force and it is approaching uh, hurricane strength and that would qualify as a severe thunderstorm gust if it was a severe thunderstorm producing it. Let's take a look first at the radar. You can see these bands that are moving through. Now this is the first band that came through. It came through overnight about 2, 3 in the morning. It started and made its way through Philadelphia and uh, it has provided some pretty significant downpours so far. You can see the shades of yellow, um, but we do have some breaks, so I want to make you hopeful that you will actually get some brief breaks from this, and some of it will be light at times. Let's take a look right now at what's going on with the storm. Now, this is uh, Ophelia making landfall early this morning. This was uh, right near Emerald Isle, North Carolina, and you can see how quickly that eye wall has now moved to the north. So we're seeing this now moving north at about uh, oh, uh, 13 miles an hour. It has 65 mile an hour wind. Still very gusty. Still pulling in all the moisture ahead of it. And we're getting these bands ahead of it. And then wrapping that moisture around. So they have flooding concerns, power outages, just a real mess going on in parts of North Carolina. Tracking it out, we're going to be watching it. By 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, it is already moving into parts of Virginia and then into Maryland by tomorrow afternoon when it becomes a remnant low. And then it crosses over Delaware and through Philadelphia. And this is going to be late tomorrow night and early on Monday morning. Now let's talk about those winds. Look at this, Lewis Beach. We just heard that they shut down the ferry. 64 mile an hour wind gusts. Beach Haven, how about 62 mile an hour wind gusts? 61 in Sea Isle City. Dewey Beach, we're looking at 58 mile an hour wind gusts. And Tuckerton, 52 mile an hour wind gusts. I think here in Philadelphia, we've approached that 40 mile an hour wind gust uh, uh, so far. Right now, 39, but we will go higher as the day wears on. Other shore points in the 40s, but you can see the winds driving in out of the north and the east. That is a huge problem because at high tide today, we're going to be looking at a surge of one to three feet. Generally, it is going to be three feet pushing into the area. When you factor that in with a tide that is uh, 1.46 feet, you add the three feet, then in Atlantic City, you're looking at 4.46 feet. In Cape May and also in Wildwood, between these are all between two and three o'clock this afternoon. We're looking at a uh, surge that could be over four and a half feet moving into the area. And some of the Delaware beaches, that surge approaches six and seven feet. So this is our biggest concern, and this is what we're going to be watching for down the shore. Here in Philadelphia, we're going to deal with the high winds, we're going to deal with some downpours, localized flooding, and we're going to deal with a lot of delays from the airports to your favorite sporting events. Now let's talk more about the rain because look at this. One last thing that I wanted to put out there and show you is we are dealing with the rainfall out there um, that will be going throughout the remainder of the day and also into tomorrow. So you see a lot of green, you see it peaked out, it's not going anywhere. Andrew, how much are we going to get? We're going to get quite a bit, Tammy. On top of what we already had, you mentioned the airport, by the way. Just check their Instagram. They are dealing with a few cancellations and a few delays. So make sure if you have any flights out, it's not completely 100% shut down, of course. But you will have to call ahead to your carriers, check online, because we're most likely going to see more of that as we head into the afternoon. Take a look down the shore. We have, this is Margate, a very, very strong, big area of waves here across the area. Again, five to nine foot waves today. We have rainfall in the two to five inch mark all the way through your Sunday. And as Tammy said, the bit of a break that we're seeing in some areas may include the entire area as we head into the next couple of hours. But don't let your guard down because what that will do, sure, is put a cap on the flooding potential for some areas, especially inland. But then we have that heavy rain and another band of it coming in as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. By the time we get into Saturday, that's tonight, 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night, we could be look looking at maybe some really heavy downpours across the Jersey Shore. This is what's going to give these areas that three to five inch range all the way through your Sunday. So again, make sure you give yourself plenty of time. If you have to be out, take it very slow. 
Best chance today to just get through the day and not have to worry about this is staying inside. Wind gusts, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts sustained in the city. We could have gusts 40, 50, even up to 60 miles per hour across the Jersey Shore. Now, it is still a breezy day for Sunday, but it's not nearly as bad. In fact, we'll most likely start to see those wind gusts die down as we head into your Sunday evening. So, in the city, let's kind of break it down by area. Philadelphia, there is a flooding threat. Two to four inches of heavy rain all the way through your Sunday. Gusty winds and travel in event cancellations all over the place, of course. It's the shore that's going to have the worst of all of this. One to three inch or one to three feet surge, coastal flooding, three to five inches. Inches of rain, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, and again, those waves could be as high as nine feet. Already seen that. So, storm impacts for the Lehigh Valley a little less, still not a great day. 20 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts, one to three inches of rain, some localized flooding, slippery roads, events likely canceled as well. Let's talk about your seven day forecast. After we get through today, tomorrow's also on the rainy side. It's breezy, but it's not nearly as bad. We get into Monday, a lingering shower, not out of the question. We have a chance to dry things out as we head into your Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, temperatures finally back into the low 70s.